everyone, I'm Lauren with Ohio Power Tool and today we're here with Jeff from Hogan and he's going to be telling us all about mag drill cutting and what lubrication you need to use for that today. Absolutely. We've got four different options. All of our lubricants are biodegradable. We've got, obviously our mag drills can have coolant bottles on them so that we have the fluid here. It is a about that. concentrated fluid. So all you do with that particular bottle is fill it up with water and you're good to go. Again, all of our coolant bottles are gravity feed mm -hmm. so it would work on a flat surface if you're drilling holes. So if you're not working on a flat surface, mm -hmm. what do you We have a do? number of different options for you. With the two over here, we've got our slick stick. That is a wax coolant. The nice thing about our wax coolant, it works a little differently than anything that's out on the market. When you use that, you just smear it on the cutter and as you're drilling a hole, you'll actually see smoke. A lot of and people think, well, thing? it's a good thing. Okay. <laughs> but a lot of people think it's a bad thing, right. but it's not. And what they think is it's not working and that my cutter is getting hot. What that actually is happening is the wax itself is evaporating. Our wax does not melt and then create a pool or drip down the mm -hmm. work surface that you're using. The next step, which unfortunately I don't have one here, is the gel. Okay. That is actually, they say it's food grade. Food so grade. you could actually eat it, I'm told. However, it is this nice bright blue. I wouldn't, wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Um, but it does give you the ability to see that you've got good coverage on your cutter. And, and then coated. our foam here is actually when you, when you shake the can and you spray it vertically, it mm -hmm. will stick to where you're going to be drilling your hole. A lot of the sprays that are out there will run. Got Ours it. is more of a foam. It will stick where you're going to drill your hole. So what's the benefit of one versus the other? Is it just preference or? A lot of preference and your application. Um, if you're working vertically, the foam is really good. The wax works too. Mm -hmm. um, if you're doing hole after hole after hole after hole, your cutter might get a little warm and the wax might start to smoke as you're putting it on there because you got a hot. Right. So the, the foam might be something that you want to go with. The big thing is use lubrication with your cutter. If you don't use the lubrication, you are going to adversely affect the life of your cutters. Big time. You're just seeing people are having to rebuy cutters more frequently yes. or is it damaging the product they're working on? It can, it can do both actually, oh, okay. because what will happen is you look at your cutter and the teeth are black mm -hmm. or blue. That means there's a lot of heat that's been created there and that can create issues with the life of the cutter. It's okay. going to dull them quicker. Um, it could make them actually break. Mm -hmm. And depending on what material you're actually drilling, that heat can create what we call work hardening and make it actually harder to drill holes as you're drilling the hole. So using lubricant, it's not just for, hey, I need to keep my cutter sharp, but it can also affect the hardness of the material that mm -hmm. you're going through. Um, so it is very essential that you use those. And obviously these are a lot more cost effective than Absolutely. the new material that new, you're working on or the new little, cutters itself. New cutters are a little expensive. These are price range. What would you say? Um, I'd say they're, depending on the on size, the size that you get, obviously. fourth to probably half the, the cost of, of any cutter that's out there. All right. Well, I think that covers it all. If you guys have any additional questions, let us know in the comments. We'll be sure to answer them for you. All of the links for all of these will be in the description. They're all available at Ohio Power Tool. And thank you for watching. If you're looking for even more content from us, subscribe to our channel or check out one of these videos here. Thank you for watching. Now get back to work. It's going. Okay. <laughs> it's we don't want to do the whole thing. Sorry, and find I out know, I know. Yeah. All right. <laughs>